Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence. I've personally interacted with over a thousand website prospects over the last several years. And one common question I get asked is, will my website be in Google? The simple answer is yes. Unless you have a website that goes against Google's policies like an adult or gambling website, or you specifically block search engines, it's gonna be pretty hard to keep your site out of Google's index. I've actually seen sites get indexed by Google without doing anything but registering a new domain and putting a website on it. But there are some better methods to get your site indexed, and I'll show you a few in this video. The first thing you might want to do is check if your site is already in Google's index. A good way to do that is just to go to Google and do a search. So I just put in my domain name, webeminence.com. You can put in your full domain name, search for it and you should see your website come up as one of the first results. So mine's showing here. So because it's showing in a search result, then that's a clear indication that my website is in the Google index. If you don't see your website uh, on the first page, or you could even check the second page if your website is new, if you don't see it in the first few pages, when you search for your exact domain name, there's a pretty good chance your site is not in Google's index. And if your site is new, it'll probably show up in Google's index within a few days. They'll find it uh, through their methods. So one way is to submit your site directly to Google. There's a few ways to do that. So you used to be able to go to google.com slash add URL. And if you went to that page, you could simply just paste in any URL and um, submit it to Google and they would send out their um, their spider a bot uh, to crawl your site and or the site that you submitted and um, try and decide whether or not to put it in their index. But it appears now that they forced you to sign up for the Google Search Console. And that really is the better way to do it anyway. So we can go to google.com slash webmaster. And you will need to create an account or sign in to the, uh, this is called the Search Console. I already have a bunch of sites within my Google Search Console, but what you'll need to do to add a site once you're in this dashboard is to click on this top left area and find Add Property and click on that. Add your website uh, URL here and then click Continue. They're going to ask you to verify uh, through one of uh, several methods that you're the owner of that domain, so you'll need to go through those steps. After your site is verified, you should then see it in the Google Search Console. Uh, the nice thing about being in here is it'll show you some performance metrics like you see here. Uh, you can inspect your URLs. It'll give you uh, notification of errors, like crawl errors on your site. Uh, if Google is having trouble indexing uh, your site, you'll see errors here. But the first thing you need to do is submit your sitemap. So you'll click on sitemaps. And here you can add a new sitemap for the um, any URL, any website that you have within this Google Search Console account. So I'll link to a blog post that explains more about how you can create a sitemap. But one of the easiest ways to do it if you have a WordPress site is to use a plugin like Google XML Sitemaps. You can also use the Yoast SEO plugin uh, to create a sitemap. Uh, these will create sitemaps uh, of your site pretty quick and you can copy the URL and then just paste it. Once the sitemap is created, you can then paste it here and click submit and then Google will go uh, fetch all the pages of your site and try to index them. If there's any errors, they'll also display them here. So every new website owner should uh, create a Google Search Console account or have your web designer do that and then submit a sitemap. It's a great way to get your site indexed fast. Another great way to get your site indexed or noticed by Google is just to link to it from other sites. So a great way to do that is if you have a Facebook business page for your business, you can add your new domain name, your URL for your new website to your account like I did here. If you have a Yelp page or if you're on Twitter or any other you know, uh, notable or authoritative sites, just throw your link up there. Uh, it's a good way to get traffic to your site, let people know you have a new website, but in the process, you'll also be alerting uh, Google that you have a new website and they will definitely notice those links and send their uh, bots over to your site, crawl them and uh, likely index your site. So being indexed is great, but it's also pretty easy and it doesn't mean you're gonna get any traffic. 
So after you're indexed, you'll need to do the work to get your site ranked higher for meaningful keywords that a lot of people are searching for. So this video was just about getting your uh, new site indexed in Google. It's not about getting rankings and traffic in Google. I could probably make hundreds of videos and others have made tons of videos on that topic. I have made a few though, and I'll link to one at the end of this video and we'll see you on that next video.